Today we're going to be talking about walls, 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 and also some Bitcoin price and hyperinflation and a few other things. Stay tuned for more. Guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Today is April 2nd, 2019. Tuesday, Tuesday. Been a pretty far so far, huh? It's uh, one, two, three, fourth, the fourth month. We're a quarter of the way through. Holy shit, it's already a quarter of the way through 2019. And it, it, nothing's really happened. It's actually been a pretty slow year so far, right? What? Is, it, is, it, is that true what he just said? That Trump is gonna close the whole border across Mexico and the US? Nah, for real? Oh, I guess something is happening. Anyways, all right. As you guys already know, 2019 has been a very, very eventful year. Uh, a lot of crazy things have happened. And now, the latest. Uh, Trump actually said that he's going to close the border. Now, whether or not he does it, that's another story. Who knows if he's actually, he, who knows if he's actually going to do that. But <clears throat> what we do know is that it's a very real possibility. And not just that, but... Again, you know, we got to ask ourselves a question as to why he's really putting up that border. You know, he, what, we, what he and the media keep telling us that the, the reason that the wall is there is to keep immigrants out. But if you listen to anyone like me or other news channels out here on YouTube, we pretty much are telling you the opposite, that the reason that they're building that wall is to keep you guys in. So just think about it like this, as if all of, all of a sudden, overnight, this guy really does close the border. And guess what? You can't get to the other side. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Um, there's a lot of people are already out there that are making that move out of the U.S. And now, more than ever. Because, again, these threats are becoming increasingly real. The other day, in the Discord, someone put out um, some sort of uh, newsreel or I forgot what it was exactly. I don't know if it was a blog or a video, whatever. But she was just talking about the real ID. <clears throat> and she was like, oh my God, is this for real? Now, some of you guys know what real ID is and some of you guys don't. What is a real ID? Well, simply the fact that now you, when you get your license, when you renew your license, you will be needing to get a brand new special identification called a real ID. So how it's gonna work is that if you don't have a, one of these new licenses, one of these new real IDs, you're not even gonna be able to board a flight domestically. You're not gonna be able to cross borders and so on and so forth. And I'm talking about US borders. So if all of a sudden you don't have one of these brand new licenses, you're not gonna be able to drive from Florida to Georgia or fly from New York to California or any of the above, let alone get out of the country. You're not even gonna be able to leave your state. So again, why are these things needed? Why are they necessary? Again, even if you don't drive, you still need a real ID. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to you know, leave the state. And if you do, oh boy. So again, guys, why would they be doing things like this? <clears throat> so. Uh, you know, let's just, you know, I just wanted to talk about that and touch that on there real quick because uh, right before I turned this on, I was listening to, again, you know, that news about the border wall and, uh, you know, what Mr. Trump's next uh, move is, which is not to close the whole damn thing. So, uh, and again, just think of the economic repercussions. Just think of all these, um, you know, again, you, you guys are not going to be able to get those avo that avocado toast, all right? like on a, on a regular basis. Maybe that's, maybe that's what he's doing. <clears throat> maybe that's part of his uh, <clears throat> 36D chess, where he's just trying to stop the influx <clears throat> of avocados to come in, coming into these left-leaning, genderified locations so that people don't have their avocado toast anymore and then they riot, <clears throat> right? I mean, that, that seems about right. Sorry, I got something in my throat. <clears> throat> Um, you guys ever seen uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm? I got a little something down there. Anyways, let me not. So now let's just talk about Bitcoin price and crypto price. Well, if you haven't noticed, the price of crypto has actually been increasingly going up for, I don't know, it seems like a few days now um, and staying up. 
and a few times they have been trying to crash the market down. I'm not going to bore you with uh, with TA since that's not my department, but you know, if you watch TA or you know anything about that, you also realize that you know even the people out there that do are, that are trying to manipulate the markets, these whales, they themselves have been meeting up and, and coming up against resistance. Therefore. Uh, again, you know, like a uh, meaning that every time that the price would go up, we would see a very large, quick dip down, and you're not seeing that anymore. And in fact, every time you see that, it, it only goes down a, a, a little further. In fact, the last time this happened, it didn't even go down below four. It stayed at four thousand, and and then these same people that dumped bought back in. Uh, if you're more interested in exactly what happened, I'll put a link at the bottom. Hopefully, I'll remember to Chico Crypto. He actually talked about this and really laid it out, and it was really interesting and cool. Again, I don't really, you know, it's not my department, but everything made sense. Now, <clears throat> again, it's making sense in the charts, but it's also making sense in real life as to what would, what could be causing this price situation to happen. You know, why are we watching now all of a sudden slow increments? In the in the in the upward direction and sustained upward direction movement well I really do think it's the fact that they're not going to be trading futures anymore I really do think the fact that you know um, <clears throat> these uh, these banks are now um, hitting harder meaning that they are now attacking and saying that Bitcoin and crypto are not good so therefore they're doing that they are also taking their chips off the table not really <clears throat> but they're saying that they are you feel you feeling but i really do think the fact that these things are not going to be traded anymore within the stock market or any kind of like market like that um i think that that is a major component to not having any more price swings violent price swings and especially in the downward direction i think that what we're going to be seeing now and from here moving forward is going to be <clears throat> a slow increase in price moving upward and Again, just going back to all the other crypto projects, you're seeing certain projects like really hit parabolic moves up and so on and so forth. And again, remember, the whole market was moving simultaneously when these markets were being manipulated. Now that they're not being manipulated as much or just there, there's no... Uh, there's just not that much uh, power, liquidity, whatever you want to call it, in order to move these markets like there once, once was for all the factors that I just said, plus many more. Now we're starting to see, you know, back the, the you know the market get back to regular fair value, and now you're seeing regular investment of you know of speculation come in again. Meaning that now when you're seeing people throwing their money at EOS or throwing their money at any one of these other projects, <clears throat> what's really man? I'm sorry, I got you're seeing all these uh, all, all this investment in all these other projects. All of a sudden, it's because now th these people that were investors that were sitting on the sideline feel confident to go back into the market, knowing that it's not going to get manipulated on the you know in the downward trend. In fact, it's not going to get manipulated manipulated at all anymore because there's no more room for that. Now it's it's all about you know we're back to fair value, fair market, and uh, whatever price moves you see one way or the other are really going to be just a natural price progression price discovery and you know just regular markets moving along and that's it you know i think that now whenever you hear like a negative news on let's say binance you're going to see a, a price drop in binance and, and so on and so forth where before you know we we're seeing negative you know price you know you know people talking about negatively about bad iota or binance coin or litecoin or whatever the fuck or, or positive and the price wasn't moving one way or the other but now I think that we're going to go back to that where, again, there's not that manipulation there anymore. You know, more people are getting excited to get back into the market. And again, another component that's bringing people back into the market is the fact that, segue to the next thing, the, and the economy is tanking. The economy is really tanking. So just like I said, episode one of 2019, that I said that most likely we're going to see a major downturn, um, you know, starting in the summer, but definitely by the time we get to October, we're seeing everything moving along very, very nicely in that direction. Now, when we get to the end of the year and we have this, the final epic crash, and it's not going to be the final epic crash, but when we have the, the crash, you know, that we've been waiting for for a few years, once we get there, I don't think it's going to be what people think it is. I just think it's going to be a repeat of 20, 2007, 2008, and uh, some people are going to get affected even more than others, but I think that it's just going to be that. And most likely it's just going to be rinse and repeat we already see them bailing things out that we're going to we're going to see more bailouts when we get to that point and um we're going to see where we go from there i think it's still going to be several years before the whole thing falls but 
Again, all we can really do right now is just sit back and watch. There's no, there's no um, reason. There's no, um, we, you know, it's gonna be wasted energy if we go up and fight the beast. There's no reason to fight the beast. The beast itself is killing itself. You know, whether we're watching the whole thing with Trump and Russia and all that, whether we're watching, it doesn't matter what we're watching. Everything is literally falling apart. <clears throat> Things are really, you know, again, the seams are li literally coming off. And we are literally watching the, the end of an empire. But it just takes a little longer than what we're used to. <clears throat> and we got to remember that nowadays, in this time, in this age, you know, where, you know, if... First of all, things move by fast, but now in this day and age, things are even faster. Our attention spans are even less, um, and so on and so forth. So we're in like a give me what I want now, you know, satisfy these needs, ASAP type of uh, society. So of course, you know, we want the dollar to fall, we want the, uh, the whole empire to fall, we want all these things to happen overall. We want Brexit, we want French, stick, we, we want all this shit to happen overnight, but you know, the reality is that these things take time. But on the bright side, these things are already happening. And we're really seeing everything moving in the right direction. Okay? We're seeing governments starting to fail, fall. We're starting to see the currencies around the world are already starting to fail and fall. And we're gonna be seeing more and more of that. And again, these are the times to buy. We I think that we already went past bottom. You know, bottom was somewhere in the $3,000 $3, range when it comes to Bitcoin. And the same thing for, for other cryptos. You know, look at Litecoin. has made a 50% increase, you know, just in a few months and so on and so forth. And there's a bunch of coins out there and a bunch of other projects that are really, 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 really starting to make gains. And why? Because, again, these projects were never bad. These projects, there was never anything wrong with them. You know, uh, again, it was just a lot of shakeout, a lot of... FOMO, FUD, you name it. But now, we the time is here. People are scared. People are leaving their respective respective countries and moving to places like Mexico or Thailand or Asia or whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, people are also you know buying gold, buying silver, buying Bitcoin, buying crypto, educating themselves more, and so on and so forth. So we're we're starting to see. We, we've been seeing this for a while, but I really do think that we're going to start seeing more of that as time goes on. I keep getting more and more uh, inquiries on moving out here, what it is to live as an expat, so on and so forth. I keep getting more inquiries as well as to you know how to set up Bitcoin, how to set up a wallet and things like that. So again, there's a lot of interest out there, more and more every day. And the only, the only thing that's really gonna get people interested in all this stuff is again, having the whole world and everything else crumble around them, which is what we're seeing. And People are people are just you know want to be comfortable, and that's okay you know that's that's the nature of uh, being human and, and I get that you know be comfortable, and um, but you know, the reality is that change does not come unless you are uncomfortable. Whether you do that yourself or the uncomfortable ability is brought on by something else. And right now that uncomfortable ability and I'll say that three times in a row all right um, is is being brought us brought upon us by the banks by the government so right now if there's any kind of revolution if there's any kind of uh, any anything anything at all in which the people are, are upset with the government it's it's literally because the government itself has lost you know uh, control okay and we're seeing that more and more every day so <clears throat> again I'm here making these videos there's a bunch of us making these videos and uh, and trying to enlighten and teach and, and get you know others and, and give that knowledge and spread uh, spread all this around you know whether it's this whether it's stuff about crypto it doesn't matter that's what we're here to do and um, again when the time comes I think we'll be ready but the more I really think about this and the more uh, I remember I, I spend most of my, my days talking about this stuff like I think a lot of you guys as well um, I think that really the more we really think about it and we just sit here and look at everything there's really not much for us to do. All, all, all we have to do is just sit back, okay, and wait. And while we're sitting back and waiting, we make a few bucks, all right? We cash in on the situation. So we're, like I've already said before many, many times, we already know that we need to hit hyperinflation before the whole thing falls. So if you know we got to hit hyperinflation, you know we got a ways to go. So again, whether you want to invest in the stock market or in crypto or in other things, there's a lot for you to invest in. If you wanna produce and create things, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a YouTube channel, whether it's your own brand, whether it's a product, whether it's whatever it is, 
there's a lot of things out there you know now is the, the time is going to be there even when the economy crashes there's still going to be more money more stuff more everything out there again greenspan okay mr greenspan you know one of the main financial guys in the u.s government literally came out a couple days ago and said that the u.s economy is always going to be one million percent healthy and that nothing will ever topple down the u.s economy because the u.s has the ability to print into oblivion and we're the only country that can do that so again guys it's still going to be a while before the whole thing falls but in the meantime if you play your cards right you can really benefit from all this and by the time it's all said and done you will be sitting pretty okay so guys we're already seeing the bull market here or we're seeing the price action move up don't miss out don't wait until it's 8k 10k 15k 20k again to buy in start buying in now little by little no matter what where you are okay even if it's only twenty dollars you can afford all right just think of it as a savings all right nothing else all right guys i'm gonna let this go i feel like uh this episode uh, went a little long and long-winded as usual eh, not so long actually pretty good but um i really hope that today's uh, in, uh i hope today's um episode was uh not it was good and informative and that you guys got something out of it because again it's it's all about looking at all the flags around you and and and, uh, and recognizing when something is wrong and not just looking at that situation like a deer in headlights but in fact whenever you know now as you're seeing these things happen you can actually react sure there's going to be a large portion of the population that's going to be looking at everything and is looking at everything right now as a deer in headlights but please for all of you guys out there that have been already going down this rabbit hole for a while as you're seeing all of these insane things happen on a daily basis that is your cue these are your signals whether you want to be a, whether you want to call it a smoke signal or whether you want to call it a red a, a regular a flag you know what i mean whatever it doesn't matter you know these are signals don't miss the signal okay don't miss a signal please all right because you're going to be kicking yourself later on all right probably in that fema camp but whatever anyways all right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Last night was awesome on Twitch, as, as, as always. As a matter of fact, yesterday was awesome. You guys are been awesome. You know, now let's get back to <clears throat> talking about me and the channel for a minute. Anyways, so vain. Um, <clears throat> going to give a big shout-out to Opie. I want to give a big shout-out to Marcus out there. I want to give a big shout-out to Stiggs. I want to give a big shout-out to Hugo. I want to give a big shout-out to a bunch of you guys already that have already made a huge impact, okay? Thank you so much. You already know what was happening to me last week. If you don't, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put a link at the end of this episode so you guys can watch. But I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys out there. I want to give a big thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So far, um, I got about a thousand eleven to go. You know, uh, eleven hundred to go, one thousand one hundred dollars to go, um, and that's it. I think we're making pretty good headway. Um, I've heard of a few others out there that are sending, you know, a few bucks out there. I want to give a shout out to everyone out there my viewers that hit me up on the again through all the avenues you guys have hit me up but uh what was it the gofundme and everything seriously love you guys thank you guys so much i i, I mean I'm, I'm beyond humbled beyond flabbergasted it's 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 it's, it's been a while so anyways, I just want to give a shout out to all you guys. Thank you, thank you, love you guys. Yesterday was awesome, April Fool's Day. We had a great time with the episode. We had a great time on Twitch. We had a great time, we always do. Tomorrow, we're gonna to have another amazing time when we go live. And uh, I promise, I'm gonna be in a great mood. <laughs> Not like last week, okay? And um, and I think that's it, guys. You know, um, I'll see you here every day, just like always. And uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please hit that bell icon. And. Uh, don't forget to stay awesome. Peace, guys. See you tomorrow.